Hi there, Medical Property Trust is paying a nice dividend, over 12%. And the stock price has declined by over, let me show you, over 78% from its highest peak. And this might be an opportunity. And the question you should ask is, if this dividend is sustainable in the long term, over 12%, and if this company can turn around, I mean the stock price, to go back to $14. If that happens, that will be great for shareholders because they will get a dividend of about 12% for the next 5 to 10 years and also an increase in the stock price. You may have more than double or triple your money. If that happens, then your return will be much higher than 12% a year. That will be great. But of course, you also have to look at the risk. First, if you look at the analyst estimates, as you can see here, the revenue is expected to decrease a little from 1.3 billion to 1 billion and the funds from operations to decrease from 900 million to 600 million. By 2028, they are expected to be about 500 million. By the way, this company, as you probably know, is a REIT. And when you analyze the REIT, you have to focus on the funds from operations normalized funds from operations, not their earnings, because they are distorted. Then, the next question you should ask is, is this dividend sustainable in the long term? Well, if you look at the analyst estimates, you look at the funds from operations, funds from operation per share, and then the dividends, what the analysts expect, the market. And as you can see for the next five years, the dividend is expected to be between 50 cents and 60 cents. So a dividend of about 12%. Now if you look at the funds from operations from 2024 to 2028, they are expected to be between $1 and 80 cents. So as you can see, based on these estimates, this company is able to pay this dividend over 12%. And this is great. Of course, if you can only trust the analyst estimates, their prediction. Because if you look at this company, at their balance sheet, for instance, for the last quarter, Q1 2024, their total assets were about 17 billion, 17.3 billion. And when you look at the market cap of only 2.8 billion, you might say, what a bargain. But be aware that they also have some debt, over 10 billion. And total liabilities are about the same, over 10.5 billion. So the total equity is about 6.7 billion. If you compare again that number with the market cap, again a bargain. But be aware that their total assets are going down. If you look back, let's say to 2022, you can see that the total assets were about 19.6 billion. And they have decreased from 19.6 billion to 17.3 billion. Why is that? Well, as they have so much debt and they also have to fund their operations, they started to sell their assets. And once they start to sell their assets, guess what will happen to the revenue? It is going down. As you can see here, total revenue for the last quarter was about 271 million, a decline year over year from 350 million. Same for 2023, 2022, and 2021, the revenue has started to decline from 1.5 billion to 871 million. And this is quite bad. You know why? It's logical. Once the revenue goes down, also the funds from operations are going down. So from 1.3 billion, the revenue went down to 1 billion, is expected to go down to 1 billion, and so their funds from operations from almost 1 billion to 600 million. And this is a problem because now you might say that the company is a bargain. They might rebound your business based on the analyst estimates and you can take advantage. But be aware that everything depends on interest rates. Now they're about 5%, 5.3%. They went up from zero to 5.3%. If those interest rates stay high for a longer period, let's say for the next two years, or 
even worse than that, they may go even higher, then guess what will happen to medical property trust? They will face more issues. Because as they have so much debt, over 10 billion, they have to pay a higher interest. This means if they pay a higher interest, your funds from operations will decrease. They might not be 600 million, but less, 500 million or 400 million. And that will be bad because the dividends might be reduced as it happened from 2023 to 2024 is expected to decline from 88 cents to 59 cents. And then as they will need more money to pay their debt, they will start to sell more assets. And if that happens, if they sell their assets, some of their assets, then the revenue will get even lower. And so the funds from operations. So based on those predictions, you might say that they might make 600 million next year. I mean this year. That may happen. But next year, if interest rates stay high or they go higher, then this company may not make 500 million, but less than that. Maybe a loss, they will report a loss, I mean for their funds from operations, or even lower. So this dividend of 12% may be cut in half so that they can pay their huge debt over 10 billion. As you can see here, total debt over 10 billion. So this is the downside. And also be aware, if this company, Medical Property Trust, continues to issue more shares because if you look at the past you can see that the number of shares went from 360 million to 600 million they almost doubled and this is bad because if they continue to issue more shares the dividends per share will get lower and lower and that will be bad for shareholders that want to invest in this company based only on this dividend. So you have to be very careful if you do decide to invest in this company. Of course, this company may rebound. The stock price may go to $13 or $10. That can happen. As you can see, the stock price has started to rebound from its lowest point, from $3.2 to $4.8, an increase over 47%. That can also happen, the stock price to go even higher to $10 especially if interest rates go down. That will be a big plus for this company, a tailwind. If you read more about this company, you can also see that one of their tenants went bankrupt, called Stewart. Maybe you've read the news. And this tenant, Stewart, represents less than 20% of their total assets. In the past, it was higher. Of about 49%. So they were quite affected by this bankruptcy of their tenant. Other tenants may go bankrupt too and that will affect the results in the short term of course. In the long term they will find other tenants. But we have to be aware because as they have so much debt over 10 billion and if interest rates go higher then that will put pressure on their funds from operations and in one year they might cut the dividend so that they can survive or even worse they might go bankrupt if bad things happen of course but also the upside may be quite good you can have a nice dividend and also an increase in the stock price to 10 percent that can also happen but be aware the risk is quite high the downside is quite high you might lose all your money if this company goes bankrupt. And the upside, you might have a double, something like that. So it's up to you. If you want to take this risk, go ahead. You can invest in this company. But as I said, pay attention to both sides, the upside and the downside. And then you assess how much money you want to invest in this company. Of course, if you are planning to invest in this company, maybe you can find better investment ideas. So it's up to you. And if you have other questions, please let me know in the comments.